My name is Kemi Tayo. Today we'll be talking about calculating areas of certain shapes. We're going to start with squares and rectangles. Squares and rectangles are four-sided plane shapes. And to calculate the area for any of these type of shapes, we simply use length times breadth. Given the length of a square to be four centimeters, the question says calculate the area. It's as simple as it is. Length times breadth. Remember, a square has equal sides, which means if the length is four centimeters, the breadth is definitely four centimeters. So we have four times four, and that will give us 16. Areas are calculated in square meters because as the case is in squares and rectangles, we are multiplying two lengths together. That is length A and length B. Remember, these two lengths multiplied together means that their units is also coming together. So we have a square unit. If it's centimeters, we have centimeters square. When it is meters, it is meters square. Let's go on. Calculating the area of a triangle, we use half base times height. Because it is also area, we're dealing with two lengths, the length of the base, the length of the height and it is calculated in square unit, half base times height. So when given the base and given the height, all you need, insert the numbers and simplify. Now, area of a circle. How do we calculate the area of a circle? For circles, we always use a constant, which is the pi. And the formula for calculating the area of a circle is pi r square, where r is the radius. Given a radius of 5, you simply put this number into the formula, pi r square. That will be your pi times 5 square. You simplify and you get your answer. Remember, all areas are calculated in unit square. Centimeter square, meter square, as the case may be. I hope you have learned something. Please practice. Thank you and bye.